We talked about the combined uh, the molecular death sentence, which could take the region and the progestin. The uh, World Health Organization and other organizations like the ACOG, they uh, have categories. Either uh, molecular death sentences that are combined are okay, or they are contraindicated, and then there are two categories in between. One category where risks outweigh uh, benefits, so it's not absolute contraindication, but you have to look at the cases case by case, and the other where benefits outweigh the risk. Okay? So we start with the contraindicated, the one where it's absolutely should not be used, the combined, you might have only the combined. Number one, for example, with breastfeeding and less than 21 postpartum, women after delivery, they have high bioavailability uh, status. Yani, احتمال الشروطات أعلى عندهم. So we don't want to give them something that increases this probability. Okay? So up to 21 days after delivery, what part that we should not? Current with cancer. Current. Now the woman has a breast cancer. Uh, cirrhosis, uh, deep uh, current or history or risk of current deep venous thrombosis, etc. Major surgery with prolonged immobilization. The woman is scheduled like in the she has to go under surgery where there is um, immobilization for a long time. Okay? Blood pressure that is over 160 for systolic and 100 diastolic. Uh, Hypertension with vascular disease. And so on. So you can read this one. Any uh, condition the woman is in, that means she has uh, a probability, uh, probability high. I don't want to add to that, okay? So, category 4 is good indication for the use of combined hormonal resistance. Now we go to category 3, which is the risks are higher than the benefits. Risks outweigh benefits, and in this case, we have to take it. Does it mean contraindicated? Does it mean you're not going to see someone uh, taking the uh, combined hormonal contraceptive, but it's not recommended, okay? Not completely contraindicated. For example, after one, 21 days of, yeah, of uh, postpartum, so 21 to 30 days, there is this week. In this, during this week, the woman coagulatory is still high, not as high as the first day we said we meet, but still it is high. So we recommend that she does not use combined hormonal to the uh, If not breastfeeding from 21 days to 42 days, okay? That with cancer, no evidence of disease for five years. So she had breast cancer, she's cured, she didn't have anything for the past five, five years. This woman is in the high risk category, okay? Our history of DBT, okay, gallbladder disease, migraines without aura of uh, an age over 35. So they measure now, age 35, over 35, and a smoker, okay? Migraine with aura is with a contraindication. Well, they have any age. Migraine with aura is with aura. And so on, I'm going to leave it for you. Hypertension was still blood pressure between 140 and 159. They are 90 to 99. Okay? So all these are uh, yani recommended the woman use an other method, not the combined component of the system. Now we go to category two, which is where there is some risk, but the benefits outweigh the risk. For example, she's over 40, but she doesn't have any comorbid uh, conditions. Sickle cell disease is not a contraindication. And they know the risk mass. It's not cancer, it's risk mass. Uh, cervical cancer and waiting treatments, family history of DVT, machine, but family. Major surgery but without immobilization and so on. My brain without aura. Uh, age is not 55. Uh, history of pregnancy related to cholestasis, etc. So we have more conditions that people might think you know have no indication, but it's not. So for those who can take it without reservation, for example, thalassemia, the blood of endo thalassemia, endo cell, okay? Thalassemia is more benign than cell cell, by the way, in general. So from the mind, it's no problem.
benign ovarian tumors, benign risk disease, uh, viral hepatitis, depression, gestational diabetes mellitus, ovarian cancer, black cell and fetal ovarian cancer. A fibroid, a gigantic fibroid, etc. So that is what women do 20 hours later for the healing and anti fibroid. It might be actual helpful, as we're going to see. It might be a treatment. And the general consideration, we know it's normally effective. We are going to want to get it by the time we get the unknown. An extended cycle with continuous combination. It's their generation, again, that they have a new oil progestin, which are anti androgen and this uh, reaction on other receptors. Nisogestrel, uh, dospirinol, testadol, and nolosterate. If you have not a consistent only or semi mini pill, they are less effective, but they do not feel at all the estrogen, or can be more highly with mini pill. How can I just start? If you have a cold start method by a man, not a family history or medical history, then uh, a simple blood pressure test, we can start here on the there is a quick method in the video. The day she went to the doctor is started. So I always the first week she has to use alternative method, but a condom, etc. Let her go seven days for the uh, hormone to reach the levels that are effective. Of here in the first day the Mahina there, which is the first day of menstrual cycle, she might say, My cycle is gonna be in two, three days. We go, okay, use alternative now. And for a week, and the start of the first day of the mental cycle. For free Sunday, we thought, I'm going to do that now. I thought it was this way in the princess or the blood would happen over the weekend, and by the weekend, so maybe after I did have a weekend. Should we have a woman here? What uh, should I do if I miss a pen? Okay. Hala, coral is a serial complication. It depends on when during the cycle. Yeah, you can cut the cycle into three weeks. Week one, two, three. Right? And week one uh, is when it starts with the menstruation, then week two, week three, and week four is with me. Also, on the type of uh, contest, this again, I know, by phasing, when dry phasing, and you see what happened in the end of my study. Hi, I'm just a Korea, I'm a Bahrain Bulgar, I'm a Tokumia, I'm a Iliani. Let the fish is still well in the guitar, so I'll be happy with the fish figure. Yeah, if the lady missed only one pen, okay? The field hat, yeah, if she started by day one, yeah, one day late, or if the time hat, but then it's a very young sweet.
بعدين في عندي سبع ايام البلاسيبو اشغال اوكي البلاسيبو ونسيت بدل ما تبلش يوم الاحد بلشت يوم الاثنين هذا بكون خطير هون بدها ايمرجنسي كونتسبتيف وبدها يعني تو بيود ا باك اب ميثود فور سبعين دايز يوجوالي الباك اب ميثود هي الا فارماكولوجيكال زي هلا اذا واحد خلال الدوره يعني خلال فتره وان اوكي نحكي لها خذي بس انك كريم الا اذا كان صار موعد الثاني ما تاخذ اثنين سوا يعني انا باخذ الفيل كل يوم المساء قبل النوم اخذت الصبح كيف ما اخذتهوش شو بعمل؟ باخذ الصبح بقول لهم خذي الصبح والمساء بتاخذ الثاني مش مشكله بس والله في خطتها وبعد العصر وهي بتاخذ كمان ساعتين خلص فوقت ابعد اوكي هذا غير عن الايام الاولى ما في داعي لايمرجنسي تنين اذا نسيت تنين شي مس تو رح يحترق اذا كان باول اسبوع او ثاني اسبوع من الباكج هذا برضه خطير بنحكي لها انه تعمل ايمرجنسي كنت سيستم وتاخذ الون بس بس واحد منهم هي مش نسيت اثنين تاخذ بس واحد منهم زي شغله الواحد والثاني خلص بتكبه على فكره انهم جايين بالايام ما بننصحك تخليه رح يخربشها بنقول لها اللي نسيتيه كبيه اكشوال الستات اللي عندهم نباتات بيتيه بقول لها خذيه وحطيه بالنبته البيتيه هرمون رح يفيدهم رايت؟ سو يو كان دو ذات تيك ون بيزل اميديتلي تسكار البيزل اكبر In week three, okay. In week three, that's the sheet. Take the one mist pill if the can't be major. No need for emergency. Then week three, just yani. I don't know. There is no ovulation. Okay. It's about time to start here with normal bleeding. Out. And three or more, regardless matter. Emergency. Take just one of the mist one if the time allows. Okay. And start a new package. Other package cannot copy. Start a new package after taking alternative for a week. Okay. Which, yeah, after we make sure of her medical history, and we make sure in the month hash the contraindications, and we have major care. Blood pressure and it is within the normal values. Uh, what we do if she has a history, yes, history for any of these things that are really smoking or uh, over 35, hypertension, a diagnosis vaginal bleeding, uh, then she has she cannot take it. Then she has to use something else. She can use uh, progestin only pair pills, the mini pills, or pops, okay, other alternatives. If not, then she can use it. But see we have here. All of the salt with the combined hormonal contraceptive that contain how much estrogen? Less than 50 micrograms. We start with the 30 micrograms, 30 to 35 micrograms. Then we go up and down depending on the symptoms that she is going to have. Again, we can consider that estrogen methods. We can see IUD, DMV, POV, condoms, implants. We have so many alternatives. So let me, you know, these women who cannot take too much or more contraceptives in home, they cannot have any contraceptives. Now, in general, if you combine or more contraceptives, the most adverse effects she's going to feel are nausea, vomiting, breast tenderness, and gain weight, acne, oily skin, that is with the own generation of logistics, uh, depression, fatigue, a breakthrough, bleeding, spotting, okay? If it's a transdermal, maybe reaction at a duplication site, vaginal irritation in the vaginal, it got many of these actually will subside after it reaches the cycles. But this actually is the same, like the tenderness, like the non deformity, that will subside. But if they consider, if they are uh, continuing, like for example, uh, something has to do with the eye, as we said, that is serious adverse effect. We tell the patient to. Stop it and contact her physician. Deboxy, Debo, Deboxy, which is still on acetate in the female injectable, Deboxovera. Femoral muscle irregularities with gain, acne, hirsutism, depression, and decreased bone density. Usually, again, these will typically subside after six months. If not, 
then she need uh, to go back to her doctor, he might change it, or he might, you know, uh, give her some warnings about the Levonorgestrel uh, IUD, background as the issue of infibulities, insertion related complications, uh, expulsion of Kinesla, benefic inflammatory disease. Uh, benefic inflammatory disease is a red uh, tag, it's a red line. If the woman starts having benefic inflammatory disease, that means we have to remove the IUD. Okay? Uh, expulsion is very common um, after insertion. And that's when women say, she did not. She did not get pregnant on the IUD. The IUD went out. Uh, people see the picture in books of IUD, they think it's this big. The IUD is this big. Okay, it's three centimeters. So it's easy to be missed. It's easy that she expelled and went out and she didn't even know. Okay? That's the thing I cover IUD, we just did only a bad density. You notice when it's only put just in alone, we have to tell irregularities because we just in alone will not uh, uh, regulate or organize the endometrium. That's why we need the estrogen. So usually if you have the progesterone only, they have this problem with that menstruation is not regular, like people who take combined hormonal contraceptive. But when estrogen is contraindicated, then we have no other choice, correct? Yes. Now, it's a little estradiol, which is the estrogen mostly found in combined hormonal contraceptive. It's conjugated in the liver, it's secreted in the bile, hydrolyzed by the normal flora of the intestine. So you here can see the possible drug drug interactions, right? Uh, hormones in general are inducers of hepatic enzymes. So drug drug interaction with other drugs that might affect the induction or inhibition of the hepatic enzyme. Another important um, uh, interaction is with the broad spectrum antibiotics. It happened, you know, the woman will take antibiotic and she will notice the spotting. She will notice some blood when it's not the time for bleeding. Which could reflect that her contraceptives, uh, if you can see, have went a little bit down. Now, this is usually with antibiotics that we have been, which is no longer used. But we still have this um, warning with broad spectrum, because they can affect the normal flora, hence they can affect the hydrolysis and, and the absorption and the effectiveness of the combined hormonal contraceptives. Okay? So just to be on the research side when we look at this. Example, there is an interaction with anticonvulsants. Now remember, there are many anticonvulsants that actually induce the hepatic enzyme, so they can decrease the efficacy of all contraceptives and vice versa. Antibiotics like glutathione, uh, corticosteroids, they might increase the concentration of the steroid or decrease the metabolism, cyclosporin, warfarin, thyroid hormones. All these are really the, the most dominant in terms of uh, the, the interaction with the oral contraceptives. Let's take a few cases that a few people who are working. I, I, a healthy 32 year old woman wants to know if she's a good candidate for combined oral contraceptives. She smokes a bag of cigarettes per day. What would the indication to see or see if you must be considered? Is she a good candidate? Can she take it? No. Candidate, but I, she can take it, except in law. 
it might be, I mean, she might say, okay, and as a baby, you going to sit there for two years. That's fine, right? Now, she decided to start. We talked her about the uh, contraindications. We talked uh, talk to, to her that at 35, either she would have to quit smoking or she would have to uh, change her contraceptives to something else. And she decided, yes, I want to combine all contraceptives. What, which one would you give her?
daily and video by with our 60 milligram twice daily has their consultation of this virus have been consistently in the therapy point for the last few years. She has not experienced seizures for 18 months. Is she a good candidate? Yes. Yes. Yes, because she has seizures are under control. <laughs> but now, now when we give her, we have to measure her levels of penicillin and phenobarbital and also of progesterone. Actually, actually, in practice, this woman will be uh, suggested to have another method. No, her seizures are controlled. Why do I want to mess up with them? Change their concentration. Was there a seizure, right? Yes. What is emergency contraceptive? Emergency contraceptive is the name given to contraceptive that is given in emergency situation. Okay, when a woman has unprotected uh, intercourse and she's not on any method, or she's uh, or she was on the method, but there was interaction that caused. Uh, this person to become uh, less effective. Uh, it's called plan B. That would be plan, that would be plan B, which is the second plan. Uh, it is two tablets that contain uh, each one of them, 135 milligrams levonorgestrel. So it is progestin uh, only. It takes on the first tablet within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse, the sooner the better, and the second in uh, 12 hours later. So emergency contraceptive works when it's taken immediately. It's not an abortion then. Yeah, if she takes it after a week, if she takes it back my implantation, it's not gonna do anything. Okay? And that's why we have to make sure, you know, it is taken within the 72 hours maximum of unprotected intercourse. Uh, there is a unicrystal, okay? Uh, was approved by the FDA in 2010. It's a progesterone receptor modulator, have mixed effect, progesterone agonist and antagonist. Uh, again, it depends on the timing. And it says it delays ovulation. Uh, it's by description only available as a single dose of 70 milligrams daily within 120 hours of uh, unprotected intercourse. What is my dish What can I do? Well, the FDA approves these. Ovral, you can see what is ovral and from, uh, what is the concentration in ovral. Two tablets per dose, just the two tablets, okay? And now it is uh, Liblan, Libora, ovral. All these also take four tablets. Or LSD or Liblan, five tablets per dose. That's still the sheet. So within first, two tablets within the first 72 hours and the other one 12 hours later. In addition, she can take resistant only pills and in this case she has to take the whole 20 tablets. Okay? So when she takes this amount of hormones, she's gonna have really bad nausea and vomiting. And she might have spotting and bleeding. So we have to yeah we give her the heads up before she takes it. You know, this is what's gonna happen. Uh, the bleeding that's going to happen again, it's not a potion. It's not the baby. The baby did not have it, okay, in this case. There was no implantation. How about others? In the trans, there are many contraceptives. Also, in her, for example, in my combination, we have progesterone and progesterone. It's a batch. It's a professional soil of them. And I'm not soil of our arm. Now, convenient. But then I could have it, okay? At the same time, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's good. But we don't have an adverse effect. It's too modern. It will be absorbed through the blood stream. But it's not less adverse effect. The adrenal ring, the adrenal ring, the adrenal ring, the first one. Uh, it releases 15 gram per day of ethylene ethylene with a sweet of ethylene ethylene. Uh, now, a lot of infection on the first day of the cycle will result in first attempt. And then you know who to do it. Yeah, you can spread it for more if the tree is, is get inserted once monthly. Now, once it should last, then we insert the second one, and so on. Yeah, another one of these things is to shift to the 
التكبير موجودة في الأوزون في عندنا باجينا الغين في عندنا باج هاي يعني تكتبل هو الموت تيمس الإيبو بوميغا فيها الستيرون في بارتين مليغرام في انترستر الانجكشن في الزوجية في هذا كل طول طول طويل لازم ينعطى وهون بصير مشكلة إذا شيء مش قوي في عندنا مشكلة يعني مش لازم نتجاوز الطول الطويل في السب ديرمال بوجستن إنه بيكونوا زي سمول بيلتس that are implanted under the skin in the upper arm for example and it is second concentration of the congenitals نيجي على ال IUD IUD is يعني my my يعني I would think it's the favorite should be the favorite has to do with the one and it is and it's very common. Um, in the United States now it's becoming more common. They used to be against it in the nolivirus, actually in nolivirus, the one who did not have children before said we had nolivirus, okay? And uh, it should not be. Uh, another thing we have a very big inflammatory disease, which could happen because of sexually transmitted diseases. Because, you know, uh, they have يعني, an open sexual uh, revolution, so there are multiple uh, partners. In a stable, one partner to one partner relation, say the plasma, uh, mostly we are conservative, we marriage to husband and wife, it is very effective and safe. And the woman does not have to worry, okay? And there is no side effects from estrogen. There is no estrogen. The hormonal one is very effective and very good, yani, it's referred over the uh, couple one. Then a small amount of progesterone will also help in the endometrial stay in check. Okay? Uh, nobody knows why it works exactly. Uh, the possibility in uh, it causes what we call low grade inflammation in endometrial. This low grade inflammation it makes it hostile, uh, not favorable for implantation. It does not inhibit ovulation. Persistent to some have an ovulation, or we have period, that's an issue. It does not inhibit the ovulation, but inhibit implantation. The endometrial uh, was harmonized because of this low grade. I read somewhere in the Arab the world, the first to use such a method came uh, when they traveled through the, um, the desert. They don't want in Napa, okay? The female camel in a So they will use to take a small pebble, Hajar Zriyir, and insert it in the uterus of Nafa. And then she will not get pregnant. Okay? But it is thought, you know, this is the first IUD in the world. And then she's not going to get فالأيد زي ما تشوفين كبر أو بوجستيرول إت إت ذير سيت طبعا هون المنظر يعني مسليدنج إتس نوت ذات بيج بس سو ذات يو نو وين ذا يوتيرس إتس نوت بريجنت إت إز ذيس سايز ذات إز واي بريجنسي إتس سوتش أميريكال العضلة الوحيدة بتسألوا شو أكثر عضلة بتتمدد؟ العضلة الوحيدة it grows 700 times in its size. When it gets a pregnant to see it, this big. So not a pregnant to see it, really small, and this is even smaller to be inserted. So this is the idea behind it. As I said, in a stable uh, relationship, it's probably the best. It's a stable and it's يعني, recommended. And the other guy, the little cover, and the mirna, and the who are the one. And I think the only drawback now is it used to be free, but the less men who are not be, the little cover with the full one, they ask the woman, "Can he be shaved?" And some of the people in the dinner, something like that, I don't know. But it's it's worth it. I'll have to mention all of the sisters who wash their hair. The only mess is one in the middle of the disease. But as I said. This is in a camp here in Nasa, sexually transmitted diseases. Yes, 
the IUD is not the right choice. It will cause a uh, very big inflammatory disease, which is nature. In a non gravid women who are very much uh, no risk of STD. These are the ideal candidates. What should we do now? Women who use some fine hormonal contraception, we should monitor their blood pressure, number one, and their glucose. Exactly. The glucose should be monitored closely, okay, at the start and when we stop it. Uh, there should be an annual cardiogenetic screening for the IUCOS system. Especially women who are at risk for STD, they should be evaluated for other like which will be the amnoia, amnoia, which is there is no um, medicine, weight gain, and acne. Those who use the uh, should be evaluated every few months for weight gain and irregularities and STD list. Also, should be weighed. Their blood pressure We should keep an eye on their blood pressure. That's number one. And any of them, remember at the beginning, any of these red flag uh, serious adverse effects that we talked about. Okay. Uh, I uploaded the chapter, by the way, but I found I have the PDF file. Uh, and then class material. Hello. Uh, to upload the, uh, so I have TA and the lot of us here. We have the help. This is a blog. Okay? 